shalom. Good morning. Oh, I had it aimed the other way. I don't have my selfie stick, so I got to hold this myself, which means yeah, it might be a little unstable. Uh, Pastor let me know this morning that Russia just landed 400 tanks in Armenia. Why do we care? Well, I've already did a video telling you all that Armenia is the most likely place that the ark rested after the 40 days and that Moses most likely planted the first orchards there, uh, grapevines that is, and made wine there. It declared itself the first Christian nation in the entire world. And then during World War I, the Ottoman Empire, Muslim, uh, attacked it and had a genocide and killed over a million Armenians. Marched them out and across the desert. And it's a world truth that's kind of been covered up, hushed-hushed. But I heard about it first when my grandmother used to tell me when I didn't finish my food, if you don't eat that, I'm going to send it to the starving Armenians. And she was an Irish Catholic girl living in Long Island, New York. So, right? That's a, that's a pretty far connection. Anyway, uh, this next time that, for me, Armenia comes up is because Kim Kardashian stopped there. Someone in her past, her bloodline is Armenian, and she and Kanye West visited Armenia and went to a, I think it's a Western Orthodox Church there. Um, and so I think she was trying to draw attention to her country. And then I read the article about the wine in Armenia being the granddaddy of all the wine and the grapevines there being the granddaddies of all the grapevines in Europe, at least. And then I made the video. So, there's been internecine, uh, sporadic fighting over there between Muslims and the Christians, and there was a lot of Russian influence in the area. So Russian is a language spoken there, um, and Armenia, Armenian, whatever that is. Um, and I watched a little movie, and it seemed very uh, still kind of medieval there. I'm not saying that in the whole country, but the movie itself was kind of really basic. Really cute, too. Can't remember the name of it. Um, and I guess the, the, uh, the, the little border wars are stepping up if Russia feels the need to drop 400 tanks in there. So why do we want to side with Russia on this? Because the aggressor is Azerbaijan. And they are Muslim. And although Russia wasn't really Christian while it was communist, there were probably a lot of underground Christians there. And in battles between Christians and Muslims, America should be on the side of the Christians. But guess what? We're not. We're back in Azerbaijan, just like in the Kosovo, in the Balkans. The Serbs were Christian. The, uh, I don't even remember, the other players there they were Muslim and we backed them. And Pastor and I both shook our head at that time and said, why are we backing these Muslims? Why are we not backing the Christians? That's who we have the most in common with. And that's what I'm saying right now. I think Russia's got it right. Stay in Armenia, help these poor, this tiny little country defend itself from the Muslims on either side. If you look at the geography, it's just a little country sandwiched between, I think, Azerbaijan and maybe Iraq, maybe a... Turkey and with the Muslims and their jihad and everything else we should make our stand clear why in a jihad would we on the, be on the side of the jihadis they're not nice they behead people they kill everybody it's just not good um, so that's why I think we side with Russia I think we agree with them and we back them and we say yeah defend Armenia Side with the Armenians. That's my thing. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bless you. Shalom.